So the product rule isn't actually limited to only two functions multiplied together. In fact, you can do it for three functions. You can even do it for four, five, six, any number of functions. And we're going to look at the pattern here and see if we can't determine if there's a pattern even beyond three. So what we know is if I have two functions multiplied together and I take their derivative, that I get two separate groupings. The first grouping has the derivative of the first term and the second term stays the same. And the second grouping, the second term, or the second term has its derivative and the first term remains the same. So what you're going to see that pattern happens when you have three terms. So if I have three differentiable functions, what I'm going to end up with when I take the derivative is three separate terms, or separate groupings. And in each grouping, the first one has the derivative of the first function. The second one has the derivative of the second function. The third one has the derivative of the third function. And then in these particular cases, these two stay the same, or these two stay the original function, these two stay the original function, these two stay the original function. So what you'd see is if you had four derivative or four functions multiplied together, you'd end up with four groupings and you'd follow the same pattern, 5, 10, 100, it doesn't matter. So let's do an example to show this method. So we have three functions here, and we want to find the derivative. So what we need to do is find the derivative of each of these separate functions, which won't be too hard. It's power rule, constant multiple rule, and addition slash subtraction rule. And luckily these are both 1, and this one is 9x squared plus 5, so that one's a little more tricky. So using that, what we can do is we can take, in this particular case, I'm going to use blue to emphasize that we're using the derivative and red emphasize we're using the original function. So f prime of x here is going to be the derivative term times original function times original function and then we're going to add Okay, now what we're going to add is, in this case, the middle term is the one we use the derivative, so we use original function and original function and a 1 there. And then over here, or finally we do original function, original function, and derivative. So notice how that derivative sort of steps along the way and then you'll have two copies of the original function, two copies of the original function, two copies of the original function. And I'm not going to multiply this out, but you sure could. And really that's how you do the product rule for any number of terms. It just gets larger and larger the more functions you multiply together.